Hi there. Before I start playing, um, this is to introduce the Turner RB20 guitar. Um, RB stands for round back, and that's what you'll notice with this guitar when you play it. Um, it's got a distinct round back. It's probably most evident if I hold it like that, you can just see the contour there. Um, those of you that are familiar with Ovation guitars, obviously they have a, a, a definite bowl um, shape to them. Um, this is less quite there um, and it's not definitely not plastic backed um, like the ovations this is actually lace wood the sides and the back are lace wood not a, not a wood that I'm familiar with but clearly um, malleable enough to create a back contoured like that now I'm familiar with some uh, round back guitars uh, some old Gibsons are um, round backed uh, mostly I think I'm familiar with the Gibson gospel acoustic which has Again, when you played it, you could definitely sense there's a, a, a rounding in the back. It wasn't flat like most dreadnoughts. And um, that gave uh, a definite sound. It definitely gave it some projection and a different volume experience when you were playing it acoustically. And that's the idea with this. They are meant to cut through um, the, uh, the, the rest of a, a, you know, a band or if you're playing with, with um, other acoustic instruments. They're meant to hit a, 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 a sonic level where it just cuts through. Um, I'm just gonna pop that back on. Um, so what can I tell you about this solid Sitka spruce top, um, X-bracing on it, which is um, a, a well-established sound way of um, construction. It's a, it's a, it feels like a small guitar in your hands. Uh, the neck is great. It's very similar to um, another well-known brand that begins with T. The, the neck feels like my friend's um, similarly named guitar um, that he's got um, at something like, or get, I'm guessing because my maths isn't brilliant, but I would say at least six or seven times the price of this. This is going for 250 um, and his tailor, oh, did I say it? I said the nasty word, didn't I? Um, his guitar is going, you know, obviously it's, it's a lot more than this. Um, so, but I, I think this really holds its own. Um, I think this is really good. The beautiful uh, finish um, on the edge, this abalone finish, lots of bits of green in it, which I quite like, because um, normally they sort of tend to be pale, but this is actually quite nice. It's got turquoise, turquoise green and brown in it. The neck's finished off nicely. With all turners, they, they, there is an attention to detail with them. There, there's no nasty spikiness at the ends. Um, the bone, and, uh, bone nut and saddle, again, it's got a, a, a very ovation-esque, um, and actually Loudon do that as well, don't they? There's a few makers that do that, Avalon, I think, as well. Um, that sort of um, string footing. I, I'm not sure whether that affects the pressure on the strings or not. Um, the breaking point on the strings, the angle is slightly different. I don't know whether that makes any difference to the tension, really. It plays wonderfully anyway, so actually I don't, I don't really uh, mind that. Um, and I've got it plugged in at the moment because it's got this bell cat um, infinitely variable um, onboard um, EQ system, which sounds great. It's really faithful to the sound of the guitar. Um, and I think given the size of the guitar, I can imagine you playing this um, live, um, you know, if you're playing with a band and whatnot, it's a great workhorse for that. Um, it's got a great sound. Um, The action is very um, like an electric. Um, I think actually it's a little bit less poorly um, on the neck. Um, so I imagine with if you wanted to change the uh, tension on the strings, you could get away with playing lead quite happily. Very comfortable guitar to play. 
Um, and like all, all Turners, they, they just finish off so well. Really, really nice guitar. Um, I know for Nyet, um, the shop is doing a deal on these at the moment. Um, they are great guitars. Um, I think um, to have one of these for, you know, for live performance, um, just for, or just, you know, playing a, a, a guitar at home, this is great. And uh, I think at this price point, <laughs> ridiculous electronics, ridiculous build quality, um, fantastic guitar. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to uh, turn the volume off on the amp and I'll just let you have a sound, uh, listen to what it sounds like. Um... <laughs> 